Now, our first programming language concept in Java, instance variables. How are variables used in Java? Let's have a look at some examples. An instance variable is a variable created inside of a class. So you will learn what a class is. A class is just basically your Java program. So before you create a Java program, or when you do create a Java program, you will have a class. And that is just basically the program itself and gets the program to work because without the class, you can't really have a Java program. So it's like the basic um, backbone of creating a Java program. So instance variables are normally created inside of your class, and you're gonna see an example of how that works. But what we are trying to understand is what exactly is an instance variable in Java? So for example, if you need the user to enter their name, then you would need to create an instance variable called name. And so this variable is going to be storing the user's name. Or you ask the user for their age, you also need to create a variable to store the user's age. And that's what we call instance variables when you keep those variables inside of the class of your program. So you can see as an example here, we have program output and it says enter your name. And the instance variable that we're going to be creating is called name. The variable that you create, one very important thing to note is that it should be a reasonable variable. So it should be meaningful, something that relates to what you're asking the user to enter. So a name would be kind of the most reasonable variable you could create so that it can store the user's name. In the second example, if you're asking the user to enter their age, another reasonable variable that you would need to create to store the user's age is called age, and so on. So whenever you want to require data from the user, you have to create a variable that's going to store that information, and that variable should be meaningful. So you'll be looking at an example of how instance variables are used in a Java program in the coming parts of this lesson. Now let's move on to the second programming language concept, 